Hello lovely people, a uh, super quick one from me today but an important one, I hope you'll agree. Um, oh, forget my preamble, welcome back to the library is open, so I hope you wrote your library cards my darlings. I'm just actually out in the garden today, uh, the garden, the garden, um, with um, a cold brew um, banana tea, if you don't mind. Uh, because that's who I am now. I make cold brew tea and I sit in gardens in overcast weather. Now, um, although it may not look it, it's actually really warm still today. Um, the smell of barbecues in the air, I suppose, um, is a good descriptor. So that's what's happening. Um, although it's not blazing sunlight, it's one of those kind of muggy sort of summer days, I guess. Early summer days. I keep forgetting it's June. But um, that's why I'm outdoors, and I didn't want to set up all the lighting rig just to film this one video because um, it's Sunday, and um, I'm conserving my energy for the week ahead. So anyway, I did say this would be quick. So um, the point of today's video is to say, first of all, thank you very much for everyone who voted for our second Libraries Open Digital Book Club pick which will take place, as a reminder, on the 1st of August at 7.30pm um, UK time on the Zoom. Those of you who've attended before, um, you'll get the link and all the info via email a few days before, as per last time. Uh, but if you haven't and you do want to get involved, um, what you need to do is drop me an email at the library is open darling. That's darling with a H, not an R at gmail.com all this info is in the description as well and with that i will then be able to send you a zoom link to the book club meeting um, and if you are nervous in any way shape or form because i know that online things can be a little bit daunting you can just attend with camera off mic off just to enjoy and, and watch um, or use the chat function to participate or um, you know, it's a really nice group of people and we have a really chill time and just discuss our favourite things and, and sniff books. So there we go. Uh, that's what all the kids are doing today, sniffing books. So just to reiterate that, if you have participated before, I will send you the link using the email address I already have for you um, a couple of days before the event, which is the 1st of August at 7.30pm on Zoom. I think that's a Sunday. The 1st of August, yes, Sunday. Um, and if you haven't, then just drop me a quick email at the library is open darling d a h l i n g at gmail.com to get the link again a few days before. Um, and so, without further ado, let's reveal the book that we'll be reading. So, after a very closely fought battle, uh, I make some like street fighter, don't I? Um, the book that has won the most votes and is therefore our next read is rubbish drum roll Ta -da! the midnight library by matt haig yes a uh, clear winner um i say it was closely fought and it was for a while but then the midnight library emerged as the as the favorite so that is what we'll be reading for our second book club um super quick uh blurb it again i guess for you um, it's really a quite high profile book and um, Matt Haig is reasonably prolific as I understand for in quite a few books now um, including uh, Reasons to Stay Alive which deals with uh, mental health, depression um, and so on and so forth which I have read and was good uh, but this one is, uh, the blurb is Nora's life has been going from bad to worse then at the stroke of midnight on her last day on earth she finds herself transported to a library. There, she is given the chance to undo her regrets and try out each of the other lives she might have lived, which raises the ultimate question with infinite choices. What is the best way to live? So I'm intrigued, and I think, you know, maybe this is the kind of book that we sort of need right now, particularly on the back of, you know, everything that's happened over the past year and a half. Maybe that's, uh, we're all in a contemplative state of mind or mood or whatever. Um, so it should be a, a beautiful, beautiful read. Um, this should be widely available. I know it's uh, available at supermarkets, this is the UK at least, and on pretty much every website and or bookshop because it's quite popular. I got my copy for, um, I got it off the Tinternet. So it's the RIP in the UK is 8 99 I think I got it for about six quid. 
Um, so, you know, do shop around and there's bound to be copies in secondhand shops and so on and so forth. I also believe that it is widely available for your sort of Kindle devices, or if, if that's how you prefer to read. And there is an audiobook, at least as far as I'm aware, on both um, iTunes and Audible. So you have a lot of options there. So yeah, there we go. That's our read. Uh, and so I hope you're happy with that. Um, you've got quite a few weeks now to get hold of a copy and read. Um, I think it's about six, six weeks approximately or something. So I feel like that. No, maybe seven. It feels like a decent turnaround time, I think. So... Oh, there we go. Midnight Library. Discussion 1st of August on Zoom. Email me for the link if you didn't attend last year's, last year's, last time's book club. And I'm sure it'll be great. And I look forward to hearing what you all have to say about it. Just notice this top looks really creased. It's because I had a nap on the sofa. Oops. Uh, oh, and just finally, I would like to do a couple of little shout outs, but I'll keep them anonymous because I don't know if people want them to be publicised. Um... Just to say a massive thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday or sent lovely messages across various social medias. My birthday was the 27th of May. And uh, a couple of you who sent me some lovely gifts via those vegan guys who are always linked below. Um, you can, you are not obligated to send me anything, be that cards, whatever. I, it, it's, I, I love the thought, I do, but you're not obligated in any way, shape or form, of course. Uh, but some people did, so I would like to say thank you very much. I received a beautiful um, chakra candle, which is gorgeous and has smells amazing and has some um, crystals, like little sort of crystals in the wax, which is beautiful. Um, very interested in chakras as well, so that was a really thoughtful gift. Um, again, not saying who sent because I don't know if people want that information to be re released or anything. So, but trust that I know who it was, and thank you. And uh, secondly, this beautiful, which you'll now notice is empty. Um, I can neither confirm nor deny whether I have eaten all the things that were in it. I don't have that information with me at present, but this is beautiful, isn't it? A gorgeous gift that was full of vegan sweets, essentially sort of like vegan Haribos and stuff like that, which was such a thoughtful gift. Um, and, um, and, and a lovely jar that I'm going to use for, you know, odds ends, now that there are no longer sweets in it. As I say, I can neither confirm nor deny where said sweets have gone. But thank you, um, much love and book sniffery. Okay, so there we go. That's this month's book club announcement sorted. Uh, thank you as always for your continued support and I really hope to see as many of you as possible or who feel up to um, joining us on Zoom on the 1st of August. Um, so happy reading. Um, I hope you get hold of a copy of the Midnight Library. Even if you don't want to participate online, let's let's have a read and, get, and give me your input anyway, even if you can't make the meeting. All right, my darlings, so put that library card somewhere safe. Enjoy the good weather, if indeed it is sunny where you are, as it is here, or at least warm. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and much love to you all. Mwah.